well, my ninjas. Look where we are. At the dental office. Figured I would come on a work day instead of on the weekend when everybody's here. So let's see if there's gonna be another scene. And not to mention I've got the camera too. There's pizza getting started. There's Buddy. All right, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, smooth sailing. There you have it, ninjas. Nothing. Seen a couple of cars come out. I've seen a couple of people inside the window watching us. I don't, know, I don't know if they see my camera or not, but nothing. Maybe I should just start coming here. I, I avoid it during the week because of the business there. You can see the cars, everybody's here. And it makes sense to be here on the weekend, but if the weekend is gonna be trouble, then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start showing up on the weekday. There's actually one of the punks right now. So I gotta go back there, uh, record while Buddy's blowing off. Well, there you have it, my ninjas. What happened? Nothing. And as you've seen in the video by now, one of the punks came out, revved up his engine. Uh, I'm not sure the way I edit if you'll be able to tell the uh, the sound of the engine or not. I might I might leave that part unedited so you can hear. But he revved up his engine. Didn't even want to look at me though. That's good. That's good. I don't want them to look at me. But. Uh, buddy's just cheesing but if i have to do this every time that's what i'm gonna do if i gotta keep a camera on rolling every week we mow this then that's what i will do and if i have to come here during the week instead of on the weekends then that's what i will do and if uh, the business has an issue with it they uh then i'll explain to them i've already told them i have i've had an issue with the guy across the street and uh the lady up front, she's real good with me. She's like, uh, Nick, I know. She's like, the last lawn guy had the same issue. So I don't know if he chased off the other lawn care guy that used to mow this, or if the other, you know, other lawn care guy got into it with him, or if he just quit or had enough or whatever happened. But um, whatever happened. Whatever did happen to the good old days. Nobody, nobody said nothing to you, buddy. Wow. Good. 
because I had my blade on me. <laughs> had your blade on you? I was going to cut some bacon off his back. <laughs> Fry that up in a pan. Don't serve, do that, buddy. Serve it to his buddies. Don't do that, buddy. We don't, we don't need you to catch a charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to like money. <laughs> Sorry. Not worth catching a charge. No, it's not. Unless you absolutely have to. Not for punks like that. No. No. But there you have it, Ninja. It's Friday. We got a coquilla. We got a coquilla. Qua We got quite a few ahead of us, so stay tuned. I just figured I'd start recording today at this property because I wanted to see if anything was going to change, happen, and it did. Definitely changed. Um, and as I told you, if I have to start showing up here during the week, I will. What's going on, my long care ninjas? It is Sunday. And a couple of updates um, that you guys are probably wondering about. The, oh, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> Number one, Nick, the, where's the last two days videos? Did your wife give uh, deliver the baby ninja, or what? What's going on? <laughs> I'm happy to be back, ninjas. No, the answer to that is no, not yet. Well, why haven't you made videos? Okay, so Friday was just a no video kind of day, okay? Saturday, Buddy doesn't show up to work on time and I ended up leaving and getting pizza and then he shows up or calls me that he showed up. At that point, I've already left. Told him he can meet us or take the day off, whatever he wants to do. Um, and he just chose to take the day off. So my point is Saturday was just me and pizza. And today is Sunday. So yesterday, uh, me and pizza, we just knocked out a bunch of yards that were left. Not a bunch. I mean, it was just like five or six, honestly. But um <clears throat> pizza's loose lost his voice for whatever reason uh cold or something uh so he's he's not been in any kind of recording mood and so i didn't really care to fool with the camera as well so we just knocked out those yards i have a shrubbery job that we i had originally scheduled for tomorrow or i'm sorry for saturday i'm not awake yet and uh close that and we didn't get to it, so I told Pizza, listen, I gotta get this done, man. Uh, you're wanting to work a couple hours Sunday? He's like, yeah, let's let's do it Sunday, that's fine. He goes, we were gonna do the maintenance stuff anyway. So that kind of worked out good. We're gonna be here. I'm actually going to pick him up right now, and we're gonna be there probably for two, three hours, if that. And uh, then we're gonna go back and just do a bunch of maintenance stuff, wash the mowers, uh, sharpen the blades grease everything i'm actually gonna go ahead and take pictures of the two walk behinds and put them up on craigslist and see if i can sell them uh i just um i just want to part ways with them they're good mowers uh to me they're you know i need something more than 15 horses on uh, on each engine um i think that's about it but anyway so that's that's the plan today we are just I'm actually headed to pick pizza up and we're just gonna knock out that shrubbery job and then just do a little bit of maintenance and that's it Also at some point today. I am taking that car. I know I've been saying it but guys, but I've just been so busy I am taking that car over to Mickey's and um, So he can get started on it so we can do that also the giveaways the shirts are being worked on of course, I've got the weed eater, the handheld blower, and a couple other things. Um, <clears throat> but the shirts are being worked on. I have created a... Well, my wife has. She, I don't want to be taking credit for that, right? She, uh, we have created a um, email address. Um, <coughs> for uh, you ninjas to email me. And I will uh, be posting that at the end of this video or next video, uh, just depending what time I get to upload this tonight or later this afternoon. 
Uh, and if I don't get to it, it'll be tomorrow. So stay tuned. Watch at the end. You might have an email. Oh, I don't know, ninjas. And um, what I want to do is I want the people that are wanting to be rolled in, I want you to email me. Um, obviously, your first, you know, your full information, your name, address, because uh, the reason for that is because if you are the winner, that way I have your information and I can get it mailed to. Um, and what are your reasons for wanting what gift? If it's just shirts, guys, don't sweat it. Still email me, uh, give me the size, still give me your name and address, and give me the size and uh, you know we'll look into that. I'm gonna have uh, a good amount of um, silky polyester shirts that we wear, the real nice ones. I mean, they're all nice, but you know what I mean, Tom? The ones that I just upgraded to. And then I'm also gonna have a bunch of just cotton ones, which are still good, which is something I've used for 10 years. I'm ordering new ones, of course. Uh, not the ones we've used. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, yeah, here you go. We used this shirt only for seven years. You can have it. <laughs> but, um, and so, you know, still email me if that's what you're wanting and give me the size. And then, of course, I'll pick out... Uh, and give me, give me a reason why you're wanting it. Give me a reason why you even want a shirt. Give me a reason why you should get the car. Okay, the thing about car, I, I'm not delivering this car. I'm not, nor do I have the time. I've got a, I've got a baby ninja on the way. I've got business to run. I've got personal stuff. I've got business stuff. I just don't have time to deliver. I would not, I'm not doing that. And I mentioned that in a couple of videos. But what I am going to do, once the winner is picked, whoever it is, whether it's a local person or someone across the country, it does not matter to me. What matters is that the right person gets it. Um, you have to come pick up the vehicle. Now, of course, I would meet you somewhere uh, with the vehicle and then I would gift the vehicle to you. But you have to come get it. I'm not delivering this car. <clears throat> and I've mentioned that in several videos, actually. <clears throat> but... As far as the weed eater, um, the blower, uh, and then the shirts, I don't have a problem sending those. I know the weed eater and the blower would probably cost a little. I'm not sure. I've never sent this kind of stuff, but it's not a big deal. That's something I'm, you know, and then the shirts, of course, but I'll send that. I don't have a problem with that. <clears throat> but the car, I'm not. Nor, you know, I can't do that. I don't have the time. So, anyway, stay tuned for this email. And uh, give me your information, address, full name, and what are you uh, looking in? You know, some people would prefer to buy the, you know, want to enroll in the car giveaway. Some people really don't care or don't need the car and would want to let, you know, would want the car to go someone who, who needs it more than they do. And that's really uh, respectful and appreciative. Also, uh, some people really just need a blower or a weed eater. Or maybe one person will get both. I don't know that, you know, I haven't decided yet. And maybe I'll still go and purchase, I'll still go and purchase uh, another blower or weed eater. Uh, I still gotta go to Best Buy and get a, uh, a nice, nothing too crazy guys, but like a nice startup laptop. Um, just something if, like, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, if you're like getting into the business or even if you're just using it for your school, you know, it's just something to get you started. I don't have a problem with that neither. So stay tuned for this email and uh, we'll hit you up here in a minute. Later, ninjas. Okay, so I have one of these. It needs a solid tune-up. Look at that yellow jacket. Get away from me, get away from me. Um, oh, now your voice is back when you wanna make fun of Sensei Nick. Get away from me, don't touch me. Um, but it needs, it needs a, a tune-up and I've had it for just about the same as the hedge trimmers that went bad, about six, seven years. <laughs> and um, I have that other one, which is the Husqvarna one that I picked up, I think, at Lowe's, or I might have ordered it from Amazon. But I just don't like the way that one feels, and we're always having trouble starting it. And so I just um, never bring it around for us to use it. So we're always using the backpack blowers. Which here's the thing with the backpack blowers: they're they're great, and you need them. 
but there's occasionally a spot that you miss somewhere down there or something right and then we'll we'll see it as we put everything up or we're in the truck and then when we see it it's like oh gotta go get that spot and then we have to come back out get the freaking backpack blower and you know just having to get it off the kind of like what pizza's doing right now see there you go yeah and just for a small little spot right over there he's got to start it up see all that and puts it back on the backpack blower hey you missed a small little spot right down there in that corner sir and he'll go get it right there you go and that's it then thanks for demonstrating by the way he's gonna come back over here as we're in the truck one you know we're waiting to leave he's got to do all of this what he's doing right now put it through click click and hang it and then do all that and when you have to do that several times a day not every day necessarily but um oh look i missed a spot you missed a spot hey you missed a spot he starts it up done turns it off and puts it back was that easier Ta -da! It's like an easy button, man. <laughs> easy button. Um, they gave me the extra long nozzle here, it's which is uh, obviously you can attach it, detach it, <clears throat> which uh, I left it on there for now. But that comes handy when you're doing gutters, guys. When you're doing the gutter cleaning, um, this is pretty good because it's more powerful for the stuff to come out of the gutters. And a backpack blower on the roof is not comfortable. No. On a, on a roof that's like a bit nice walkable roof, you yeah, know what I mean? Like it's okay. Yeah, like this one, for example. This is a great walkable roof. Um, but like that one over there across the street, not so much. So, I mean, it's walkable, but it would definitely make it more challenging um, the with the backpack blower. What kind is it, Ninjas? It is the Steel BG86. Now, the last one that I had, which I bought seven, eight years ago, whatever it was, I had the BG86C. The difference with the C and the one without the C, the letter C, the one with the C is a vacuum. So you can actually take this off and connect connect it right here. And it turns it, you know, you have a actual bag. And I have that one, but we never use it because it's really for small leaf cleanup jobs. It's not for the capacity that we do. So, uh, but I didn't need that. And it was more expensive, of course freaking yellow jacket um so i just got the bg86 there was one version below this one which i think it was a bg56 i want to say i think so but um i wanted the more more powerful one and it wasn't that bad in price considering for what it is and uh, how handy it uh it really uh becomes so all right, here we go. So as you can see, Pizza's already starting to use the new blower, handheld blower, putting it to the test. And what we're doing is we're basically blowing everything out that he's cut, or we've cut. Uh, and then these are the beds. A lot of it we're gonna pull, some of it we'll weed, like that kind of stuff, and then spray it. <clears throat> I touched up a little bit on this one, but uh, I don't want to touch it too much because I still see some areas where it's blooming. There's a little small one right there. It's really not a huge, huge mulch, uh, shrub shrubbery job. And then there's a couple here in the back. that's it and that's that -de -da, -de -de -do. and it's a wrap let's just clean this stuff up so we can go home and do some maintenance stuff kicks toy all right i might hit you up with the finished product if not we'll see you at the crib when we start the maintenance i'll show you what we get into ah, see you ninjas
Where is Mickey when you need him? Ah. <laughs> All right, ninjas. Just use the tiny to bring this bad boy back here in the backyard. And uh, Pizza thinks that the rig with the enclosed looks really bad. Black and silver, black and silver. Black and silver, black and silver, yeah. Uh, and Mira's all over it, sniffing everything out. But uh, yeah, just brought, used Tiny to move it from the front yard to the backyard. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, there's a reason for that because uh, we're gonna move the dump trailer in the place where this was and so that way it's not just blocking all that area in the driveway and uh you know when the new trailer comes in i'm gonna go ahead and um probably park the uh in open trailer utility trailer right about right here where pizza's standing closer to the fence um and uh well, I'm hoping it won't, it wouldn't stay there long. I'm hoping to really sell that thing because I don't need it. <clears throat> Especially when the new trailer, the new trailer, I can't wait, man. That thing's going to be heavy duty. I just put the lights on that one. Oh, yeah, and uh, Pizza put new lights. He ran the electrical, of course, underneath it because one tail light was working, but the other one, <coughs> I think I clipped it somewhere when I was backing out. I can't remember or something. And I ripped the wires out. So what? What we did is we went and I purchased a, a brand new uh, wiring harness. Wire, yeah, harness, wiring harness. And uh, that way Pizza just re, uh, ran the wire on both sides, both sides, right? Yeah. Whole yeah. new thing. It's a whole new thing. So it's brand new electrical, brand new uh, tail lights because I uh, replaced those, uh, I think, a year, a year and a half ago as far as the bulbs. And they're LEDs. And they're LEDs. So if anybody, uh, you know, Anyway, I'll, I'll be posting that thing on Craigslist and uh, selling that and then including with the... Uh, I might do a package. Think about it. Trailer, two mowers. A dual axle trailer with, with two walk behinds with the toolbox on it. Dude. Anyway, uh, but we just unhooked the tra trailer here and what we're going to do is um, I use Tiny to move the dump trailer put it where this was and then hook it back up to the utility trailer because we're going to be using it tomorrow so yes and we got to sharpen blades i got to move all the cars out of the front yard so that way he can go ahead and stripey it <laughs> all right then just just wanted to update you uh, i might record a little bit while he's sharpening blades if i do then that'll be the conclusion if i don't then this is the conclusion because it's already a long enough video so Hope everyone's having a good weekend, good Sunday. Tomorrow is a whole new week, and it's going to be a good week. We're going to make the best of it, so see ya.